The new National Concealed Carry Bill is being proposed, and it's in front of Congress. It would allow people to carry freely a concealed handgun from one state to another, no problem. Congressman Richard Hudson, North Carolina Republican, is the author of the bill. Congressman, have I, have I got it right? If I've got a concealed carry permit in one state, your bill would allow me to carry it anywhere, regardless of state law. Is that right? Well, well Stuart, that's, that's about right. It, it would work just like a driver's license. You know, when I drive from North Carolina through Virginia, through Maryland, I don't have to stop at each state border and take a new driver test. Uh, the state recognizes that I have a driving license, but I have to follow the laws of that state. So if a state doesn't allow concealed carry, this, this wouldn't necessarily allow you to do that. But if the uh -huh. state has concealed carry, then what it says is they recognize you have a concealed carry right, and then you have to follow their laws. So you cannot impose this national law on states which don't like concealed carry. You can't do that. That's correct. Okay. What kind of support have you got in Congress for this? Any good shot at it getting passed? I think we do, Stuart. I, in the last Congress, it's about the end in 48 hours, we had over 200 co-sponsors. And so uh, I think passing out of the House is not going to be a problem. Um, and now, more importantly than what support do we have in Congress, we've got a president who supports this freedom. And, and I think having Donald Trump, this being a priority for him, I'll work very closely with the president and we'll, we'll see this bill pass Congress. Um, whilst you're with us, I just have to ask you about um, the, the 10 states in America which have taken the majority of Syrian migrants in the past year. Your state, North Carolina, I believe, has taken in, I think it's 3,000 in North Carolina, just over that, that, that number. Um, are you c at all concerned about this? Absolutely, Stuart, and you may recall I'm the author of the Syrian refugee bill that passed the House of Representatives with a two-thirds veto-proof majority. And so this is an issue I've been working on for a long time. This is an issue I really uh, understand is, is a serious threat. Our governor in North Carolina has been very vocal about the fact that he's not even told who these folks are or where they are in the state. And then that's a real problem as well. Do you think that when the new president, Mr. Trump, takes office after January the 20th, do you think we're going to get an end to the number of the, an end to Syrian migrants coming into America. Is he just going to be stopped, cut off? Well, I, I, listening to the vice president elect talk, uh, it, it seems like they are where I was when I wrote this legislation, which is look, we're not going to ban people indefinitely. We don't want to stop immigration. Um, but let's take a pause here because we've had the director of national intelligence tell us that we've caught ISIS trying to infiltrate our refugee program. We know for a fact. That, uh, that, that we've caught people in this country, we've had people commit violence in this country who are refugees. We also know that the FBI director testified before Congress that we can't possibly vet these folks, a lot of them, because we can't build backgrounds. And so if the FBI director says we can't vet them, if we know ISIS is attempting to infiltrate, then I agree with President Trump that we need to stop the flow temporarily until we can put a vetting process in place. And you know what, if we can't get a good process, then we shouldn't let him in at all. Congressman Richard Hudson, Republican, North Carolina. Thanks for joining us, sir. Much appreciated. Thank R you. Real pleasure. Thank you, sir.